Episode 5 of Undead Unluck begins with Andy and Foucault visiting a closed diner and reflecting on Gina's death. Foucault asks Andy if there's a chance they can make the Union change their ways so no one endures a life like Gina did. Andy says it's best they scope out of the place, but is set to help Foucault accomplish her plan. Someone picks Andy and Foucault up and takes them to the Union HQ. They reunite with Shen and meet Juice, Billy, Phil, Tatiana, Ishin, Top, and Nico. Tatiana takes their anger out on Andy for killing Gina. Before Andy and Tatiana fight, Billy stops them with his powers. Suddenly, a demonic book named Apocalypse recites a few UMA retrieval quests and says they all have until August 31st to complete these missions. While the UMA members split the missions up, Foucault asks Top for intel about Apocalypse and the mission format. He explains Apocalypse is an artificial one that assigns the Union members with unreasonable missions. If they succeed, they get rewarded. If not, they'll be penalized. Foucault asks the other members if they should obey Apocalypse and brings up Gina's disdain for its system. Juice explains why they follow Apocalypse's rules and complete its missions. She says by completing its missions and reaping its rewards, they'll grow in strength. Juice hopes with this strength, they'll be able to use this power to defeat the god residing on the other side of Apocalypse who is responsible for assigning these rules. Juice confirms she's the one who assigned Shin to defeat her and Andy and apologizes. However, thanks to Shin's recommendation, she's willing to play ball with the two. However, Juice acknowledges Foucault's concerns with their current system. Juice says Foucault and Andy have a chance to become the Union's new leader, but they must achieve the most results. Currently, Juice holds the title. Andy approaches Apocalypse and demands it to tell him the hardest mission. The quest requires three members, so Andy forces Shin to tag along with them. On August 21st, Shin's assistant Mui helps Fuko prepare for the mission. She says she can't tag along since she doesn't have an emblem, meaning she's not a member of the round table and can't participate. Shin informs Andy and Fuko about their suits and emblems. Suddenly, Everyone receives an alert about a rogue UMA in the facility. Mui shares its powers and origins with Andy, Shin, and Fuko. After the UMA latches onto Mui, Fuko uses her unluck abilities to save her. The UMA latches onto Andy's body, and before he can do anything, one of the members' machines zaps Andy and the UMA. The UMA calms down and decides to become Andy's servant. Fuko grants the UMA the name Clothy. The announcer states Undead earned points for his victory, raising him in the Union's ranks. A woman informs Nico and the others about another UMA that's wandering the streets of New York. The woman confirms it has ties to our protagonist's quest. The episode closes with Andy getting fired up for the quest. The episode review this episode of Undead Unluck was informative, but contained enough action and humor to keep viewers entertained. It highlights the ins and outs of the Union, introducing audiences to its hierarchy, quest, and rule system well. Everything flowed naturally, allowing audiences to gradually digest its intel alongside Andy and Foucault. At the same time, it's interesting how everyone seems to be on the same page. Although Juice is the leader, she's not against having someone challenge her for her title. It'll be interesting to see our heroes foster meaningful connections with Juice. Shin, and the other Union members over time. Moreover, it was compelling to see Tatiana stand up for Gina's demise. It shows how some members care for one another, even if they refuse to make their feelings for each other known. The tidbits regarding Apocalypse's role in the Union are thrilling, too. It'll make viewers wonder who's behind the book's creation and will make them question if Andy, Foucault, or the other members will find a way to defeat it. Overall, this was a nice episode of Undead Unluck. It gives viewers wonderful info about the Union and promises fun character dynamics in the future. I'm excited to see what happens to Andy, Foucault, and Shin during their quest.